Oh, boys. Oh, boys. Here we go. <laughs> the 2020 Pro Motocross season is coming to MX vs. ATV All Out starting May 21st. Rainbow Studios and MX Sports have teamed up again to bring you the full 2020 Pro Motocross Championship season. Authentic replicas of the most iconic motocross tracks in the world right in your living room. The Unreal Engine, blah, 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 blah. We don't really care about that. Okay. Uh, for $19.99... You will get 11 Pro Motocross tracks pro, plus Loretta Lens, plus, <laughs> plus Loretta Lens, all updated to their 2020 track layouts. Hangtown Thunder Valley, Florida, High Point, Southwick Redbud, Spring Creek, Washougal, Unadilla, Buds Creek, Iron Man, and Loretta Lens are all ready for you to explore in free ride and all other race modes. So, wow. Okay, so... The last year that they did all these replica tracks, they didn't even have every single round, okay? And they might not hear, but they got all the heavy hitters. I mean, you got Hangtown, Southwick, you got WW Ranch, which is Florida, Redbud, right? They got Loretta Lens coming back again. I don't know how much Loretta Lens can really change in one year, but um, Bud's Creek, you know... Uh, you got Spring Creek, Washougal, you got all the big ones. I'm not even really sure which ones they're missing here. So, I guess this is the first real motocross game that we've ever had, like, two different years of replica tracks in the same game. I'm pretty for sure. Like, if I'm not mistaken, pretty sure this is going to be the first game that's ever really done that, like, two different years in the, in the same game. Obviously, with the Milestone games, they... They go to the next year, but it's a whole new game. Whereas this, dude, this could kind of be a setup for Milestone in a way. When you really think about this, like, why doesn't Milestone do this? Just come out with one game, one solid game that they spend like three years to develop and then get a really good base to the physics, really good base to the, you know, filling on the bike and everything. Kind of like what Supercross 3 is more like, right? And just start coming out with like $20 full replica whatever year series every year and keep it in the same game that's really the ticket when you think about it that's really the right way to do it i think mx versus adv is on to something here this is definitely i would much rather have one really solid motocross game physics game and then just have multiple years of you know replicas or replica series in it over the years but you still have that amazing good game and you got all those replica tracks in the same game. You don't have that weird like where it's split up between three different games and three different physics systems and a game coming out every year and they're like micro improvements to the physics anyways. And like, you know, I just think it'd be so much smarter if they started from a really good physics base and then just came out with replica tracks every year with $20, $19.99, whatever for a full series of DLC Instead of having to pay another $60 every year for a whole other game that's the exact same game, but just with another set of uh, replica tracks. Like what Milestone's been doing forever. Like, dog, this is the ticket. Wow. All, all I got to say is I'm super impressed. And you guys know I've been, uh, you know, I had a little partnership deal there with, I don't really know if you call it a partnership, basically just a, uh, they were kind of sending me some of their DLC early and stuff like that. I'm not really sure if they're going to do that. This with this whole caboodle of tracks and stuff, they might. I'm not really sure. We'll see if I get some of that stuff early, but um, I'm just really impressed with the way they have like totally flipped around their whole entire community, like management, right? It's like they are really thinking things through now and really thinking about the content they're giving you. And, I mean, good Lord, we're getting AMA National Replica Tracks. This is what everybody wants. Like, I don't know what else they could really do other than make a whole other game with, like, more reflex-style physics and then put all those tracks in it. That's about the only other thing they could really do that I can even think of in my head that would make the experience better, right? But, like, good God, man. I mean, they've been doing pretty much everything we've asked for. Like, they give us more free whips, they improve on the terrain new formation. And all this is in one game, dog. This ain't like they had to go through four different games like Milestone to do this. This is all in one game. And I'm not saying All Out is the most amazing arcade motocross game ever. Because it's not. There's, it's got a lot of issues, right? I think we all know about all the issues with it. But 
I say a lot of issues, not a lot, but definitely got some some striking issues to the physics aspect, of it, especially when it first came out, right? There was some issues for sure. Definitely got, had some struggles like the bouncing into the corners and just the plethora of other things. But it's just, they've just stayed steady with it. They've kept improving on it. Kept updating. A lot of free updates. Yeah, there is quite a bit of paid DLC in this game, but you got to understand, there's a lot of free updates too. And the base version of this game came with everything that you would expect. Like three or four different full-blown free ride tracks, a full motocross series, a full supercross series, a full freestyle area type deal going on, right? You had, um, you have like, uh, Omnicross or whatever style type stuff in the game. So it, you know, they're back to giving you that kind of content that you expected back in the days, like the old school MX versus ATV days. And the fact that now they give you the AMA 2020, or I guess it was 2019 replica tracks as DLC. And then now they're giving you the next year of DLC in the same game. It's pretty unprecedented, man. I'm, I'm really impressed. And I, I've talked to the community manager of, MX vs. ATV or THQ Nordic or whatever, quite a bit, right? And um, I'm just real impressed with their whole like what their whole mindset, dog. Like this is definitely a time to be excited for MX versus ATV. All I'm saying is that next game, whoo wee! It's got so much potential, like it ain't even funny, bro. It ain't even funny. Um, and I really hope all of this carries through, you know, carries forward to that next MX vs. ATV game. Because we've got to get to the point to where we stop just scrapping all these tracks. Like, Milestone has such an issue with that, where they'll come out with a game with all these tracks, like Free Ride Compounds and the whole caboodle, and then, the, oh, by the way, it's not just the next year they come out with a game, they come out with two games a year. <laughs> so, you get all these tracks in one game, and then Four months later, another milestone game comes out and it wipes all those tracks from that other game completely away. And then the next year, another milestone game will come out, wipes all those tracks away. So, like, could you imagine if Milestone had a system to where it just somehow was able to keep all of the tracks that they've started releasing from the very jump, the very whatever, like, probably don't want to go all the way back to MXGP1 tracks, but, like, definitely, like, MXGP3 through you know, Supercross 3, you imagine if all those tracks were in one game? Good God, man. Like, that's that would be some content. Like, could you imagine riding on all those different free ride tracks with, like, Supercross 3's physics, right? That would be sick. But they don't... It's like Milestone has no capability of thinking long-term. It's really bizarre. They've always struggled with, with that long-term game, you know? Whereas... MX versus ATV struggled for a minute when they went to like Alive and MX versus ATV Supercross and Encore and they were trying to combine games and have to lower prices of games and tons of DLC, but they didn't even have all the content in the original, you know, base version of the game. But now they're starting to get their head on straight again. They learned that that type of business model just doesn't work. Like you, you got to be smarter than that. And I feel like Milestone is still kind of stuck in behind the times a little bit with their the way their business model is, right? Like, Milestone's sort of ordeal will only work for so long. Like, that's the thing. You know, it worked in the first Supergrass game because we haven't had an official Supergrass game in so long. That's what put all the hype around that. And then it was like Supergrass 2 came out, so you're kind of seeing if they were going to improve it. And they didn't really a whole lot. But then Supergrass 3 comes out, and they really improve everything quite a bit, I would say. Um, physics wise anyways, right? Um, and then, but now it's kind of to that point where they're going to have to start really doing something content wise in their games, or they're just going to fall off the map. It's just so kind of disgusting when you think about it, how many tracks milestones actually made over the years. And when that next milestone games comes out, you're still just riding on one series and one game, one free ride map in one game. Like, come on, you're going to have to be a little smarter with that. You're going to have to figure out a system for that. And that's what I feel like MX vs. ATV is doing with this whole, you know, they're doing, how long's All Out been out? For like two, three years now? Like, holy. That's what Milestone should have done. They should have just took the first Supercross game and then just updated it over time. Updated it, updated it, add track, you know, that next year of track content. 
keep updating it, keep updating it, add a, another next year of track content as DLC, and just keep it all in one game. Like, why would you split all that up? You think it's making you more money, but really, in reality, it's really just making a worse game. It's just a worse game. It just sucks to have everything split, you know, with the Milestone games. I hate that aspect about the Milestone games because they have so much track content, like when you consider all their different games, but they're all in different games. <laughs> it's so unfortunate. Like, So either way, this is really smart move here, MX vs. ATV. I wasn't expecting this to get like the two different year series of the national series and one MX vs. ATV game. Pretty insane, but it's just 19.99. I mean, um, like, yeah, I, I would like for them to, you know, get to that next MX versus ATV game just because I know the potential of it. I know how much more like reflex it could be, right? Just from the evolution of like. MX vs. ATV Supercross, and then to Encore, and then to All Out. You keep that steady progression, and you're eventually going to be almost back to Reflex. So I think they're going to be close to Reflex in the next game or the next one. But um, I don't know if they can really update it quite to that point. You know, I guess that's kind of the balance of it. It's like, how much can you update one singular motocross game, right? Um... You know, I definitely think Milestone could update their games way more after launch than what they do as far as the filling on the bike, at least their previous games like Supergrass 1 and 2. Um, whereas MX vs. ATV All Out has seemed to update their game pretty well, but they're starting to kind of hit a little bit of the limit, I feel, of what they can do with the current game without just totally changing the entire game. You know, so uh, yeah, I am sitting here talking about how you just want you know, all these tracks in one game and all that kind of stuff. But at, in the same token, you do have to advance games in a way, I would say like every three years, every two or three years, you have to, you have to go to another, probably like every three years, I would say that's a good point to like go to the next game, right? Every three years, go to the next game. Don't be coming out with two games a year. That's too frequent, right? Um, but I would say that's about the, you know, you wouldn't want to sit there like five years in the same game, in the same arcade motocross game and never come out with a new one because your, your gameplay is going to kind of fall behind a little bit, right? Even if you keep putting more and more DLC tracks, your game's going to fall behind. So there's a little bit of a balance there, but I think the, the prime time to come out with a different like arcade motocross game is like every two and a half to three and a half years, right? Something like that. I think that is perfect. And just when you do come out with it, that whole like three-year lifespan or life cycle or whatever you want to call it, that's when you update the game, come out with multiple years of track DLC or whatever, you know? That's when you, you know, you advance the life cycle of the game. Milestone doesn't even have any time to advance anything in their game because they're already making the next game. You know what I mean? So it's like so counterproductive i feel like what milestone does but either way it'd be cool seeing some of these tracks in all out um these 2020 tracks here and uh yeah it'll definitely revive everything having like two different years and i'm sure they'll do probably like a pro series on it and the whole caboodle so that'll be really cool there's a lot coming with this so either way i just want to make a little video on this Really proud of MX versus ATV and what they've been able to do over the past year, two, three years, right? They have really changed my opinion on what what the past they were going down, like back with MX versus ATV Supercross and Supercross Encore. Heck, they added a track editor into Encore. Like, dog, MX versus ATV is killing it out here. Like, I hate to break it to some of you boys, but they're killing it, dog. It's just a matter of... Just getting just that little more reflexy feel to the physics, man. It will save their life. I'm telling you, it'll save their life if they can do. If they can do that in the next game, oh boy, we're, I have the feeling like we're gonna be getting some timeless motocross games here pretty soon. Like games that you can go back and play ten years from now, and they're still gonna be fun. You know, I really think we're gonna start getting those kind of motocross games in the near future. So I'm really excited about that. Holy tree. 
Uh, but either way, appreciate you guys watching all the videos. Later, dudes.